On today's menu, we have some anguamo using that tolo beef that we made last week. If you want a recipe on that, how I made that tolo beef, please check the previous video. Now, before I start, I soaked my beef in water for about 30 minutes to get the excess salt out. That step is very crucial, otherwise you will ruin your dish. And as you can see, I sliced a little bit of half an onion. And then here is the beef. You want to cut it to the size that you prefer. You can cut it as small as you want or as medium size as you want. And then in your cooking pot, add your cooking oil and then fry that. I was a little bit heavy handed on that cooking oil. All you need is just a little bit. A teaspoon is good enough because the fat on the beef will be rendered and you know you end up having a little bit more oil around it. So um, yeah, you don't need that much of a cooking oil at all. And so put that beef in there and let it fry till it's nice and golden. The beef is nice and brown at this stage and as you can see, I'm going to go ahead and scoop some of the cooking oil off of that beef. You can reserve it and use it to cook whatever you want to cook it with, okay? And um, I should have probably scooped more because that's still a little bit more oil in there, but that's fine. And then you want to go ahead and toss your onions. I like how golden my onions look so here I'm going to add my washed rice and wheat to the frying um, beef and the cooking oil the wheat is optional it's just to add an extra fiber to our diet and you can use basmati rice or jasmine rice whichever rice you prefer and then we're going to toast the rice and wheat and the cooking oil and the beef for about five minutes or so before we add some water. We're ready to add the water and you wanna add just enough to cover the surface of the rice and then let it cook till the water completely absorbed through the rice. Your rice should look something like this. And I'm telling you the aroma and the lovely smell from the beef and the onions was amazing, okay? So give it a little bit of fluff. Adjust the water if you need to, but I left it just like that to cook a little bit more down. I'm gonna go ahead and cover with some parchment paper to trap the extra moisture out and then give it another fluff. At this stage, the rice is actually done. And this is how we like our rice. And do you see that little bit of that kanzo forming? Yes. And Wamu is all about that kanzo, okay? It's very delicious. So I actually went ahead and let that rice cook a little bit more for an additional five minutes. And then I served it. Usually, anguamo is paired with some chibum, which is fried omelet, fried egg, with some pepe or shito. And you can add some cucumbers or avocado or whatever vegetables that you like. 
and that's pretty much it this is the kind of dish you want to enjoy it with the nice clean wash hands okay no utensils needed that's how you can enjoy this anguamo okay thank you so much for watching and please don't forget to subscribe like and share this video